In the city of Bucaramanga, a Colombian presidential candidate is widely favored. 77-year-old Rodolfo Hernandez, nicknamed the engineer, won two-thirds of the votes in the first round at the end of May. Por Colombia, con el ingeniero vamos a ganar. The ex-mayor is running a populist campaign and has made eccentric promises to Colombians, like that they will all get to visit the seaside. I invite you to elect a worthy man who will represent us in an excellent way. With him, the history of Colombia will change. The millionaire made his fortune in construction. He advocates change while enjoying the support of the ruling conservatives. This is just one of his many contradictions. My father proposes to destroy the gangs of politicians and thieves that hold power in our country. The fight against corruption is his main focus. However, the engineer is facing corruption charges himself. He has named his office La Casa de Nariño, the same name as the presidential palace in Bogota. La casa? The house is full of phrases that the engineer says, do not steal, do not lie, do not portray zero impunity. Camila is part of his communications team. Cuckoo! <laughs> In this room, 13 young creatives developed the candidate's strategy. The first thing that we noticed is that digital really does turn into votes. From the perspective of the campaign that we have managed, yes, we are doing politics to entertain, that is, entertainment with political information. Rodolfo Hernandez gives few interviews and refuses to participate in debates. He campaigns via social media. No le voy a pagar. This is the video that has the most views. The wealthy businessman will face another national sensation in the second round, in the form of left-wing candidate Gustavo Petro. Both men propose change, but from two radically opposite sides. Who will convince the Colombian people? The answer will be determined this Sunday.